Hey everybody, welcome to Allie's Kitchen. Today I'm finishing up our recipe. It's ginger snap pumpkin bars. Two steps to this recipe, a delicious crust, a filling into the oven. It is going to be so simple and absolutely, I promise you, delicious. First, the crust. We have ginger snaps and we have walnuts. The walnuts give it a little more nutrition. Into the baking dish it goes. Ginger snaps and walnuts, butter. I mean, what's better than that? I have plastic wrap on this measuring cup and that's gonna just keep the crust from sticking. Fresh ginger is such a glorious ingredient. Just the scent of it just makes you happy. And just take it and very carefully go down the sides and you just peel off the exterior. It's a little bit of work. You gotta use some elbow grease, but hey, that's the fun of cooking. And you just go back and forth, back and forth. I think our crust is ready. Oh, yum, that smells so good. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's make the filling. I can tell you there is a difference between aroma and the freshness of fresh ginger versus the ginger puree. But if you want to save yourself some time, buy the puree. I do it all the time. Our batter smells so good. And fresh ginger is so good for, like you're in an upset tum tummy. Uh, it's also anti-inflammatory. In Chinese medicine, they say it eases some pain. It's totally optional, but you can get the whole nutmeg seed and just grate it. I'm telling you, don't wait for the holidays to make these ginger snap pumpkin bars. They are absolutely phenomenal. The crust doesn't compete with the filling, which is light and airy and fluffy, almost like a souffle. You've got the pumpkin, of course, and then the warm spices, but then out of nowhere comes this wonderful ginger taste. Recipes at Allie'sKitchen.com. Good stuff.